the situation is a lot more nuanced than, than people realize. And even Steve pointed out, we've been talking about this, Hamas was supported by Israel in the beginning to counteract the, the growing uh, popularity of the PLO. They didn't want a secular socialist government there. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. It's imperialism. Yeah. Allie, and I, I mean, Palestine... Get, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, here, go. So, um, I will see you later. Yeah, for sure. We'll, right. we'll be back. Bye, Allie. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Good Bye, Allie. Take care. Bye, Allie. Bye, Allie. Bye. Bye, Allie. And I was going to well, say, huh? too, Palestinian Christians are getting attacked. It's they are verified COINTELPRO based off of the video footage made by channel German in Venice. Just got censored. Ward Jones had on t shirt said F censorship. She's on with Fiorella and Pasta. I added this comment. I then signed out and realized that I'm shadow banned. The channel called Combo Couch, which Rants against censorship censors themselves. For this video, uh, one can see that Glory Jones is not flipping the image. She usually uses the computer program where they can flip our faces like a mirror. I suspect people use that to hide their asymmetrical jaw movement. I'm not going to download that one. As I've said before, I can cover these people. I can parse these people, their channels, their videos. I can do this all day, every day. I've been attempting over the past several weeks and months to streamline my shtick, to not worry about putting these together, to have fun, to make them informative and entertaining. When I'm relaxed, the words flow out more easily. The editing's easier, the jokes pour out more naturally. My podcast as sober analysis makes more sense. We're meant to be free. That's my general message. That's my first and foremost message. We're supposed to be free. We need space, we need room in order to rock that there is something called consciousness which transcends space time we call it space time that's the last real update on theoretical physics there are limitations to the human mind we can only go so far there are some things we will never be able to prove the only way we can come close to sharing insights is to poke at it to get close to it no one's going to prove consciousness no one's going to prove what created the universe or Earth or whatever's going on here, existence. Nothing is ever going to explain that. See chicken and the egg analogy. We're never going to know. How can something come from nothing? It can't. It just can't. But then you have the problem of, well, where did the something come from? How can something be infinite? be what's what. Well, that's that for the philosophy portion of this show in which I'm trying to explain my attempt to relax more, to be myself more, to really crystallize that Jimmy Dore and Combo Couch and then the whole lot of them, the whole batch, they are verified as COINTELPRO assets. They are modern day COINTELPRO. The video proves it. The one taken by German Venice. I made this comment. I left it. I logged out and uh, I already explained that I was shadow banned. Okay, I had forgotten. Sorry about that. So I've got lots of stuff downloaded already. I'm going to limit the screenshot portion to just a few of them. The few will be reruns and then just a few. I'm not going to fret. I'll run through the stuff. I find the biggest hassle putting these together is coordinating my speech, my opinions, my analysis, my facts, my sharing of facts. I don't own any facts. No one owns anything. That's freedom. Freedom is, like I said before, it's the transcending of time and space, the way we view what it is. Things are going forward. 
we become stuff, we become ego, we become this job, this relationship, these, this and that, this routine, blah, 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 blah. Freedom transcends all of that. Watch Marsha McLuhan, watch Krishnamurti, check out Eric Fromm. Those are the ones that I will promote as my top, my favorites. Clone will help you quit internet as addiction. Maybe not internet as addiction, not to quit that, but Marshall McClone will at least enable you to see what's going on in regards to rise and shine media mythology. Yeah, 50 to 100 years, there'll be someone, some textbook or whatever, what, whatnot. They'll say, in the, uh, Mark Twain of, uh, 2021, uh, Samuel Clemens, Roger Clemens, Samuel Clemens, his name was Seth, but uh, he, he went as Tokyo Shemp. It was similar to the Mark Twain shtick, but I digress. He digressed. I'm actually him, and I'm not my someone else 50 to 100 years into the future, but that's obvious. The thing with Asperger's is you're going to fret no matter what. But I'll continue to try to do my best to get good stuff in here. Oh, yeah, my problem is coordinating my opinions to the video. So I get the video, I'm looking at the video. How do I have everything so it doesn't become a big mess? What's that word? You know, if everything's scattered, uh, disheveled, damn, what's that? Clutter, clutter, that's the word that I forgot. So this becomes a form of clutter for myself. Downloading, I keep this, I keep that, I take notes, and it just becomes a big hassle. All I wanted to really point out on this visit, Gloria Jones to Combo Couch, uh, she kept looking over the side. Uh, each of them kept gaslighting the others. They triggered themselves. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I can't download everything. I can't parse this or that. I've already got a video of uh, Allie. She was totally out of her mind. Her boss or whatever. I was going to say what not. Steve-O. Stevie? No, Steve Poinkinen said, uh, yeah, Allie, why don't you just take the rest of the shift off? They're not full of me, is my point. Hopefully the nuggets that I put together for videos proceeding forward are clear-cut. I want anyone to feel motivated to uh, expose these people. You see what I came up with with uh, Echo Park, see how their video does not line up with German Venice. You can probably see how it becomes cluttered. It's how do you explain that? How do you get that across? Well, the reason why it's so difficult to expose people is because there's fake opposition. So there's Daily Beast. Daily Beast is their foe. It's their fake foe. I've seen this before. This is not my first rodeo. I know exactly who these people are. I mean, I don't know them exactly, but I know who they're working for. I know why I'm 100% positive. They are military assets. They are part of the new surveillance capitalism society through Internet. This wasn't going on before 1990. This wasn't really going on too much until probably the mid-2000s. When YouTube and Twitter started to take over, when we all got herded into bigger platforms, when it became nearly impossible to make a dent into the zeitgeist, we all got separated. All these videos, no matter what the leaning, no matter what the genre, what the shtick, they're all getting near perfect. Like the right wingers are not going to watch Combo Couch. The people watching Combo Couch, Jimmy Dore, they're not going to watch. Tim Pool. So the two sides become separated through medium. You know, the person who would watch Rachel Maddow and the person who would watch Tucker Carlson, Fox News, those two minds are not going to ever meet. They're never going to be in dialogue. And then you have Convo Coach, Jimmy Dore, with, uh, you see it with the Magnus PSYOP. You see how they have co-opted this idea that we're being divided and conquered. You see this in the example of Obama when he was pro-Occupy Wall Street. We're talking about the president that built out the banks. 
were not allowed into the dialogue. There's no democracy. We're being watched. We're not only being watched, and we're not only having the oddball COINTELPRO agents diluting, you know, like a small percentage of them here and there. No, now they actually are the ones getting the paychecks. It's both the mainstream, we always knew, we always sensed, and then we found out through WikiLeaks that the mainstream media is rigged. We know the mainstream media is rigged. It's just obvious. We know that. But now what I'm trying to say is that this other stuff is also rigged. So you might as well urinate into the wind if you think going on the internet, interacting with these people as if this is legit. Interact with them, you'll get banned. It's obvious now that their anti-censorship thing was mythology. They'll let you, they won't censor you for criticizing them if you do it within a certain parameters. They are the influencers. We're the non, what do they call it, the non-players? We're like the people in the video game that you never really, they don't really have any influence. They're just there. Spectators on a golf video game. That's what we are. We might as well not matter. So someone like me, I go into Krishnamurti, I go into Eric Fromm, I try to learn other things. I looked into psychiatry. I bounce around. I find topics that interest me, and then they become special interests. I try to warn people it's pointless to take any of this seriously in regards to thought, to medium. When the printing press that came out in, what, the 1400s? I forget the exact date. 1500s, Gutenberg. And then in the 1800s, it picked up. I started uh, reading a little bit of Fr Friedrich Nietzsche. He was... In the mid-1800s, he's already talking like any other person, like us. It's quite interesting in that way. It's a waste of time to take these people seriously. I don't think what I'm doing in regards to them is a waste of time. They're having a protest tomorrow. They have, they're out in the open a lot of times. It may be not that big of a hurdle to get these people on camera and pepper them with some questions. So if someone goes out there with their video camera and they say, Hey, Johnny, uh, Mallorca, uh, could, could I interview just for a few minutes? And then have the video, take some clips from what I came up with, show them hiding behind the truck, show how, like, glory bending down with the tree in the background and how it's also on the German and Dennis video. I just ask them, like, why are you hiding behind the truck? And these people are incompetent. They're obviously dispensable. They're being thrown under the bus. Whoever their boss is does not protect them because now we know Johnny was hiding behind the truck. It took me quite a while to put that together. It took perseveration to verify that they are COINTELPRO. Now, another thing that I came up with, I'm going to uh, try to stop with this free-form type of speaking. Another big thing that I came up with the last several months, in addition to the Echo Park thing, I caught or I figured out that Fiorella reads off of the script. And now I'm seeing that they all do. But some are better than others at hiding it. Craig Jardula is masterful at hiding that he is prepared. He's got stuff he can look at. It's a monitor. It's a teleprompter. I have a little video that I downloaded. Maybe I can splice it in here. I'm just doing it in one of those notes. See how I'm having a little uh, stress figuring out like what to say versus what I remember. And I'm afraid. I'm like, what am I going to forget? And how am I going to line up that video to this video? And some of it's, a lot of it's very mechanical, setting the, trying to get the volumes uh, consistent. It's not that easy to make, it's easy to make videos, but it's, a, it's also a chore, especially for someone with Asperger's. But the thing is that if the Aspie can keep his or her cool, if there's no time limit for the Aspie, that person can come up with the goods 